I do want to talk about real quick about um not letting people or things cause you to waste your life. You know, tomorrow ain't promise. You only got one life to live. Sometimes we waste our life on things that do nothing for our life. We waste our life on things that drain us. We waste our life on things that frustrates us, that stress puts uh, put stress in our life. And we give all our energy to things that do nothing but drain our lives. And I get it. It's easier said than done. Um, but you got to wake up. You know, you got to wake up. You know, stop giving your attention to drama. Stop giving your attention to pain. Stop giving your attention to the things that you know are no good for your life. Like I said, it's easier said than done, but doesn't mean that you can't do it. Uh, when you're serious about moving forward with your life, when you're serious about a vision, when you're serious about a purpose, you start to realize that you ain't got a lot of time here. You really don't, you know, um, in this world to really accomplish things. And as you get older, you know, those days go by a lot quicker. And, you know, we, time is something that we're never promised. We're never guaranteed. So we need to start taking advantage of the time that we're given, cherishing the time that we're given, um, cherishing the people that are around us, um, you know, and be that light in this dark world. You know, I'm just tired of ignorance getting the platform. You know, I'm tired of seeing people want to tear people down. We get so amused by somebody else's downfall. Like, that's sad. Like, for real. Like, instead of helping somebody, we we get amused by that. You know, we laugh at that. We clown people because they have a struggle as if you don't have one when you look in the mirror. Because we know you got it. We all do. And so how about you help a person stand instead of kicking them while they down? But that's too, that's, that's, that's too hard to do. It's easy just to throw shade. It's easy just to throw hate. It's easy just to throw criticism. It's easy just to tear somebody down. It's easy just to manipulate. It's easy just to do nothing. That's easy. Anybody can do nothing. Anybody can hate on the next person. Anybody can be, uh, be evil. That's easy. That's easy to do. It don't take no talent to be that <laughs> at all. Well, some people are really good liars and stuff like that, so I guess that's a talent. But it don't take no talent to do bad in this world. But it's hard work when you got to fight through your struggle. It's hard work to stand up in a world where everybody wants to tear you down. It's hard work to believe and fight for something that you believe in and everybody else want to criticize you for it. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's worth it. You have to stay focused. Because some, some of us right now are already unfocused on the things that we already said we were going to change. Let's be real. And that's why I made this today to tell you to get back focused. Stop going back to the things that are breaking you. And that's not just relationships. That might be your habits. That might be your past. That might be your friends, whatever it may be. Stop going back to the things that are putting you in that dark place. If you want to be free, you got to stop hanging on to the things that keep you in that prison of pain. You see my last video, and that's real. Is it going to be easy? No, it's not. It's going to be hard. Moving on sucks. Letting go sucks. It's hard. That's, that's sad. But you know what's harder? Is living with pain for the rest of your life. Now, that's very hard. That really, really sucks. You know, so don't let abuse, manipulation, hate, all these things steal your focus. You know, stop worrying about your future so much stealing your focus. You know, sometimes we're so focused on uh, the next step, which is not bad. But sometimes we're so focused on what's next that we can't appreciate the now. Right? And so... Now our focus off, we don't even we don't even appreciate our accomplishments. Pat yourself on the back. If you survive something, pat yourself on the back. If you're still giving love in this hateful world, pat yourself on the back. Appreciate that. Appreciate yourself. Be your biggest cheerleader because some people ain't gonna believe in you that you think that that, that would believe in you. Right? Some people are gonna turn their back on you. All those things. It happens. It's life. It's going to happen. If you're breathing, if you're a human being, you're going to have disappointment. But guess what? If you keep grinding, if you can't keep pushing, guess what? That disappointment will build you into a stronger you. Strength, you know, strength, pain builds that. Strength, pain builds that. No struggle, no strength. Realize that, man. Stop wasting your life. You, you, sometimes you only get one shot of opportunity. You know, if you don't like your life, change it. I know it seems easy, but change it. You got to. Because if you ain't changing it, what you're saying is you really like it. And sometimes we're addicted to certain things, but guess what? You have to work to break that addiction. Do whatever it takes to break certain addictions, to break certain habits. You have to do whatever it takes. Does that mean that you're not gonna that you're not gonna fail? No, it doesn't mean that. As long as you become better, that's what life is about. So stop wasting your life on the things that don't make you better.
Stop wasting your life on the things that don't bring one of these to your face. A smile. You know? Get closer to God, man. He'll carry you through. Because I know in my life, straight up, like God has shown me that, that, that pain equals strength. That when, when I thought I my life wasn't going nowhere, he was taking me somewhere. And that's faith. You know, a lot of times we pray and a lot of times we say, you know, we're going to change. And, you know, that's the first step. But when you truly believe, you know what faith is? Faith is your actions. So you can talk all that talk that you want, all that motivation that you want, what you're doing, what you're reading, all this stuff. But if your actions ain't reflecting it, you don't really believe it. Faith is belief. Faith is belief because you're walking towards something that doesn't even exist right now. That's faith. It's easy to talk it, right? What I say in my video. And sometimes it's not easy to make a decision, but sometimes it is. It's easy to make a decision, but what's hard is staying loyal to that vision. What's hard is waking up every day to go get it. That's what's hard. It's for you guys that want to make a change, make it. Stop playing with your life. Stop playing with it. Stop wasting your life. People are going to talk about you. Stop wasting your energy on drama. Right? People are going to talk about you. We live in the internet world of 2017 where people can get behind the keyboard and say whatever they want to say. That would never probably say it to your face. Deal with it. If you're going to do something... If you're going to be great, expect people to not like you. It's a part of it. Expect people to talk about you when you're happy. Expect people to have a problem with you just because you're happy. Because when you're happy, that makes people insecure. A lot of times, and I'm going to just talk about it now. I talked about it before, but I'm going to give you a brief synopsis of what I'm going to talk about in my video. A lot of times we get so angry that the people around us don't support us. A lot of times we get so angry that you know, certain people that we love the most support us the least. It's a part of life. Accept it. Accept it. Because sometimes they might be jealous, envious. Sometimes they might not be none of that. Sometimes you might just be too close for them to see your greatness. You going to let that stop you? That's the question. You going to let that stop you? You going to let the people who don't like you stop you? The people who don't support you stop you? The people who try to break you stop you? Are you going to let that stop you? Because that's on you. They can try whatever they want to try. But they can't stop you from keep coming back. They can't stop you from keep getting back up. And eventually they're going to get tired of spending their time trying to knock you down because they can't win. Stop letting the enemy win. Stop letting these people that don't know you win. Stop letting these people that broke you win. Do it for yourself, man. Do it for your future. And wherever you're at in life, whatever struggle you're going through, appreciate it. Say, Be thankful for it. If you lost somebody in your life, I'm not saying towards death or anything like that, but if you lost somebody somebody's left your life, maybe they left your life because something better can enter your life. Be thankful. If you lost a job, be thankful. I know it seems weird. If somebody's cut you, I remember they cut me from the NFL, somebody would have told me, I'm like, you crazy. Be thankful for that. But I'm thankful now because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be doing this. Understand that. So now I'm thankful because God has something better for me. But it took me Getting up, it took me conquering my struggle. It took consistency, and it was hard. That's all I got.